Dear Josh Glancy, Sunday Times writer. Hi Josh. So my name is Clara Sophie Elfing. I'm an 18-year-old Danish girl, and I'm a huge Dan and Phil fan. When I first saw that there was an article in Sunday Times about Dan and Phil, I was excited because YouTubers usually don't get that much appreciation in mainstream media. But then I read the article. I think we need to talk. The article was pretty insulting, not only to Dan and Phil, but also to their fan base. And before you say anything, look, it's fine that we don't like the same things. Obviously we don't. Everybody on the planet can't like the same things, and it's totally fine that Dan and Phil isn't really for you. But there was a lot of the things in the article that was pretty respectless, and I just want to talk to you about that. So I'm gonna go through a few of the things that you said, and you know, tell you why you are getting so much hate on Twitter. We do have sort of good reasons for it. First of all, we're not all 12 year old girls. There are a lot of people in their 20s, in their 30s even, who love Dan and Phil. There's a lot of guys who love Dan and Phil. Just because the majority is teen girls doesn't mean that we all are teen girls. Like, my sister is almost turning 22 and she loves Dan and Phil. And my dad really likes Dan and Phil. And not in the way that a parent smile and nods while their children are talking about something that they love, but in the way that he appreciates the fact that they are really talented and how much work is obviously put into the things that they do. Calling them overgrown teenagers is super rude. Many, many adults act the way that Dan and Phil does. Just because you're the same age as them doesn't mean that you automatically act the same way. People grow up differently and some turn into boring adults as you put it yourself, but some don't. Just because Dan and Phil are interested in things that people usually associate with teenagers doesn't mean that they're not adults or that they're overgrown teenagers. They're not childish just because they like what they like. And let's just let's just talk about the sex icons thing. Because sex icons? Really? <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure I can say this with absolute certainty that at least 80 to 90% of the fandom does not like Dan and Phil because they think of them as sex icons. As they mention themselves in the article, much of their success comes from the fact that they're so much like us that we we feel like we can relate to them. They're geeky, nerdy losers, but they're also generally funny and extremely talented. We watch Phil's videos because they put a smile on our face when we're having a bad day. We watch Dan's videos because it's nice to know that we're not alone in our weird habits and quirks. And we watch their videos because they make us happy. Now, I'm not saying that no member of the fandom wants to have sex with Dan and Phil, because there's probably a few. Personally, I'm not one of them, but there's obviously some people, probably a lot, honestly. But even those people, they don't watch Dan and Phil's videos because they want to have sex with them. I'm sorry, but who would watch two losers play The Sims for 30 minutes just because they want to have sex with them? Who would watch the same losers scream and almost poop their pants while playing Five Nights at Freddy's because they want to have sex with them? It's just honestly, like, this is a serious question because I would be a little bit worried for those people. Just a tad. You should be able to see that that wouldn't make any sense. Last but not least, some of the things that you said in the article was just plain rude and invasive. They live together in a flat in London, but won't say where. Um, no? Why would they say where they live? And why would you even ask that? I wouldn't say where I live, and I don't have millions of followers that would stalk me if my address got out. And then there was the, I asked Dan what he thinks about the persistent rumors that he's gay. What did you expect to get out of that comment? Maybe it's just me, but I think that when you're interviewing someone, you should treat them with respect and not whatever the hell that was. In conclusion, what you did wasn't journalism. It was a person calling something silly that he doesn't understand. And to me, that's a lot more childish than what Dan and Phil are doing. If you like this video, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. I make new videos a couple of times a week. And send this video to Josh Glancy because he should watch it. He, he needs to watch this. Just so he understands because he's getting a lot of hate on Twitter and though I agree with, well, 100% of the tweets sent out to him, he deserves the chance to understand why he's getting so much hate. So if you can, please tweet this to him. Anyways, um, I'll see you soon. Bye!